let's say maybe after that month you, you're not there, but you're pretty close. You know you'll get it for the second month. You'll get yeah, it. Yeah, you'll just knock it out yeah, the beginning part of the new month, but you also have new goals. So you're like, man, I'm going to finish those goals, but I will also want to start on my new goals. And remember that when you set these goals, there might be some that you don't get to. You don't get there. But you get closer to them, and that's the main thing, too. At least you weren't staying in the same place. Right. It's All right, that's it. Stacy's wearing our T-shirt. Don't forget to check out the link below. We are still selling those to get our homestead uh, teaching thing all set up. I mean, that's the best way we can think about doing it. And also, we have some new designs coming out, so stay tuned for those. All right, so today we're going to talk about the bees a little bit. It warmed up outside. It's about 50-ish degrees. It's going to be cold some more. It's not the end of the cold. But I wanted to show you guys something about the bees. So remember before I told you guys that you don't need to knock on your hives during the winter time. If it gets a little bit of a warm spell, they're going to become active. And what you guys are witnessing right now is that they're cleaning the hive. They're actually pulling out any bees that haven't made it and drone bees that can be dispensed of. And they're cleaning out the front of the hive and they're cleaning out any dead bees that are in the hive. Bees are very, very efficient on, you know, keeping things clean. So as soon as they can fly without uh, needing the nucleus to stay warm, they're going to start their cleaning action. I just thought that was pretty cool. Here, let's watch some more. The bees are so strong, they're actually picking up the dead bees and flying them out of the beehive. They do fall short sometimes, but they'll even continue to drag them out of the rocks uh, into the grassy area. So they really are keeping the beehive clean. It is really neat to see.
fascinating stuff. I love it. I could spend a lot of time out here just sitting next to the beehives and watching them do their activity. So from what I'm seeing right now, I have one hive that's doing really well, very strong. And I think one more is doing pretty good. And then I think the other two might not have made it so far. But I won't know for sure. I just kind of kind of keep my eye on them. If you guys have bees, just keep your eye on your hive uh, through the winter time. And when we get these little warm spells, you'll see them. They'll start cleaning up and start taking care of their business as far as operating in the hive. They're very, very smart. They really don't need a lot of your interactions. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to share with you guys this cool... Uh, bee activity going on. I know there's a lot of people out there that are just starting to do bees and I just um, I just wanted to caution you guys with knocking on the hives and you know just bothering them too much. Just you know whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. If you have a strong hive they're going into winter time. Um, they're gonna produce the winter bees like I told you guys before in a previous video and they're gonna make it through the winter and the weak hives aren't, aren't gonna make it. So then you just if you want to you can replenish those hives in the spring and then start all over again. Uh, hopefully this year we're going to do a little bit more about the bees and maybe you guys will learn some stuff from it. Um, as always, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, that's the buzz for today. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.